It's Meg Gorton's first time teaching, but it's not her first time at Timberland. She recently returned to her alma mater to teach Spanish with some of the same teachers she met as a student. I am teaching Spanish 1 and then Advanced Spanish 2. I think the most challenging part of starting the year is establishing all of our routines as a class as we get in the groove of like knowing what to expect each day um, and just seeing how you guys take to it when I bring new things to the table. It's been exciting but definitely challenging to like establish how we go through our days. Gorton is currently teaching roughly 75 Spanish 1 students and 70 Spanish 2 students. She's like really passionate. I don't know how to explain it, but like she's always like she always has a story or she's always like explaining from like personal lives or like what she's heard. She's really into her class. She's never like just like you do on your own. She's always trying to help you. Gorton studied Spanish at Timberland for three years under Emily Torres, whom she is now working with as a colleague. Um, in my class, when Miss Gorton was my student, she was truly one of the very best students that I had. She is one of the very best students that I ever had in all of my years of teaching. Um, she always came in ready to do the activity and to participate, and she would help the other kids in her class and work well with them. Gorton received the seal of biliteracy, as well as being distinguished in the Spanish language. Um, so Spanish has always been a really big part of my history and culture as a person. Um, my grandmother on my dad's side, she's Chicana, that means Mexican-American. Um, so I've been speaking Spanish since I was little, mostly food words because we'd cook together. Um, but when I got to high school I knew I wanted to learn how to actually string my sentences together rather than just knowing nouns here and there and it just spiraled into a passion I couldn't stop I love being able to learn language and how it works in my brain and how it feels to be able to connect with new people in different areas of the world and of my life so it's been fantastic and it's so rewarding now to teach it to other people I'm hoping you guys have as much fun with it as I do. <laughs> Gordon says she wants her classroom to be a positive place where students can come every day and feel supported in any area they need. This is Aiden Storms reporting back to the studio.